Oh yeah, they see me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go back home. No. They're gonna get me. No, they're coming after me. Run! Run! Ooh, what's going on ladies and gents? And welcome to the first episode of the Noob Server. This is the multiplayer Minecraft survival server that I have going on. Just like everyone else, I'm going to be playing with as well. We'll play to delete that. <laughs> I also created a small community board here. Uh, this, is where areas, this is the area where people can drop off any items. You know, if you're going to take, let's say, some building blocks, just make sure you replace it with something, just so that someone else has it. Uh, so the goal of this multiplayer server is to have fun and to be interactive with other folks. Uh, I have sent all the invites out. Thank you so much to everyone who applied. By the way, it was uh, there was a lot of a lot to go through and a lot of hard decisions as well. Uh, I I try to factor in people that I know who have been active regularly on the channel and outside of the channel, social media, etc. Um, so yeah, if you want a, a better chance, I'm always going to be kind of clearing out the list if, if people are inactive. So yeah, there you always 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 have a chance to uh, play on the server. So let's get going. We're gonna try to find a good location here. I did create something on that island that I hope other people. Um, have a chance to take a look at here. If you got trash, you just kind of chuck it in there and it goes away. Uh, this is a command block that gives you a pokey stick to start off. And this pokey stick is sharpness one. It's unbreakable, so use it as much as you want. We gotta, you gotta find a suitable location, break some blocks, create a little home. We gotta find a good home. I, I've done a little bit of perusing around, obviously being admin I can just kind of fly around but <clears throat> I was trying to you know look around see what there is what's available uh, in the northerly direction here there's actually something pretty cool by the way I made a discord totally forgot to mention that yeah I have a discord up uh, it'll be in the description below I also put a link on the screen but it has a lot of numbers and letters so I just recommend clicking it in the description below uh, all are welcome onto the server so more than happy I'd love to talk to you guys on the Discord. If you don't have Discord, it's actually a, a free, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> uh, Discord's a free, uh, I guess, voice over IP service where you can chat and talk um, your call, whatever you'd like to do. All right, so there is a village there. It is a big village. I'll just, I'll go show you guys here. Yeah, it's fairly large. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine buildings um, and a farm here. I might steal some crops from the farm. The sharpness one pokey stick is gonna come in handy there we go it's a good little starter weapon it's like a little baby lightsaber and i'm gonna do this you know i'm gonna hide kind of infrequently hide little cool things on the server so if you are a part of the server definitely uh keep your eye out for weird stuff and they're mostly gonna be around spawn so yeah you're gonna always want to come back here and be like hello what's that i totally forgot to to also mention happy new year's everyone <laughs> hope you guys um rung in the new year on a good note hopefully you guys are happy and safe and the question i have for you guys what are your new year's resolutions what what are you guys hoping to accomplish in 2018 what are you hoping to improve on what are you hoping to do in 2018 um i'm not one for new year's resolutions but i do like to set goals and the beginning of a year it gives you a good landmark of where you are and then where you'd like to be you know 365 days later um i actually posted on twitter which i'll leave on the screen here i actually posted on twitter my personal goals a lot of them are metric related at least from what i wanted to talk about it's very metric related um so you can probably see it's like it's just like youtube twitter instagram uh where i want to be and how like and those are fairly realistic um by end of year most likely i'll be above that by end of year but uh yeah you guys should definitely follow me on on twitter as well if uh if you like you know good content and stuff let me slay a few more cows here i should probably slay some sheep for a bed but there's a lot of cows here and so i'll just slay that instead so yeah uh i'm not, I'm not gonna try to go too too far from spawn i'm not terribly far away from spawn now but i think this is kind of where i want to situate myself uh because i got birch I got oak, and I think I have taiga not too far away from here. I'm just going to peek over this mountain and see if there is a better area here. I'd eventually like to make a, an underwater base as well. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll stay close to the river then and make an underwater extension. Yeah. Yeah, that seems cool. I like that. Ooh, I like this. Look at this. It's kind of like I got my own little lake here. 
Whoa, hello. Alright. That's cool. That is definitely some, some coolness. Alright. I think we're going to make our little house here. Now, should we make it on the water? No, nah, let's make it on land. Let's make it on land. Oh, look at that over there. Oh, that is cool. Stick right about here. So, just clear this out. We also got a couple of cows around here, which means we can breed them for uh, not only some leather, but some food as well. Okay, that's suitable space. Uh, let's go ahead and make all our essentials here. Well, by the way, the uh, Derp Squirtle skin has, uh, has made its appearance. All these years I've been a regular Squirtle, but I just wanted to be a Derp Squirtle for now. And for the first night, I'm probably just going to burrow down and just call that a, a night. Cool, so I'll be back with you as soon as the night's over. Alright, so... The sunlight is now bearing down on us. We're going to go ahead and collect our furnaces, because we might as well. Take our sword out, just in case there's any mobs. I know there was a creeper back here. I'm going to kill him with the pokey stick. Aha! <laughs> pokey stick, destroys all. Alright. So, easy way to get that is to just kind of ride the waterfall, and then... Make ourselves a little scaffold here with the dirt. Perfect. And let's collect our iron. And now grabbing the coal here. So, I've been doing some research and trying to, you know, I'm always trying to improve myself, always trying to be a better version of me. So, I want to be a better builder. Um, I, I'm the kind of person that makes the square house, that makes the ugly roof, that does everything that the basic Minecrafter would do, but... Um, been doing a lot of research and been doing you know kind of figuring out how to be a better builder you know it's a weird thing to say but i just want to be a better builder so uh what i've who i've been watching is green i believe g-r-i-a-n on youtube someone who is uh, fairly well known for his great builds mumbo jumbo uh some larger folks who are pretty ver well versed in their buildings i uh, definitely want to do some uh, some learning there, so I've been watching those. Do you guys have any uh, favorite uh, Minecraft YouTubers that you watch for building? Like, people who do really, really exceptional jobs building things? Because I would be very, very interested in figuring out uh, who is good to watch and who to uh, to pass up on here. Let's fill this back up. Perfect. So... I'm gonna stay close to this tree. I want to be kind of on the waterfront here. I like the way this looks. Let's go here. Go. Let's go ahead and clear this out. There we go. So we'll make a little waterfront-esque house here. Uh, we are gonna need way more wood. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and grab some more trees here. See, as much as I love these gigantism trees, where they just are ginormous and and are all over the place with their branches. They are really annoying to cut down. <laughs> like, unbelievable. Like, why isn't there an axe enchantment that allows you just to hit the bottom? I know there are mods for it, but, like, there should def definitely be a, a, a normal vanilla enchantment that lets you just kind of chop the entire tree down. Because, man, it is annoying trying to get all these random tree trunk blocks out of here. Whatever, I'll leave it like this. You know what? There's some sheep here. Let's go ahead and grab some wool there's quite a few of them here so I'm not too too worried about killing the sheep population I want just enough so I can create a bed sorry sheepy I swear if, if this sheep drops like three wool I'll, I'll feel so bad nope just one perfect all right let's go back into our little area here so I have just about a stack of wood uh, with some remaining wood planks from before uh, so the general kind of look of this is I want to make a almost like a platform that bows out here like a, like a little deck a little patio uh, so I do need to build it basically right to the waterfront I'll build it like this and let's give it some shape let's have things jet out a little bit let's give it a quick general shape and uh, see how this turns out and let's see if we can get, I don't know if we can get enough height here to see. Yeah, that'd be interesting, I like that. So entrance right over there, leading into like a back porch. 
maybe even like a river area, maybe like a dock, a little dock, so we can kind of travel up and down the river. That, that seems cool. A little area down there, maybe some staircase. Ah, there we go, see? I guess I like, I like the uh, creative juices starting to flow here. I'm gonna make a couple of pillars of this house. Two, three. And maybe like even out here, like one, two, three. Does that make sense? I'll see, I'm gonna have to play around with that one. Uh, we'll put a pillar right here. Hmm, I don't know, should we put the, the pillars on the outside or the inside of the house? I don't know. But night is falling, fortunately we have ourselves... It's just me on the server right now, so I can just kind of take a nap whenever I want. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and throw down our crafting bench here. No, not the pokey stick, even though we have unlimited of them. Oh no. Oh no, it doesn't work. We have to go slay another sheep. Sorry, sheep. Your your sacrifice is not in vain, I swear. Perfect. Oops. Let's throw that in our... Here. There we go. Let's take a quick nap. Perfect. It's sunshine, and it's nice, and sunny, and shiny, and sunny, and shiny. Cool. We'll have to play around with the architecture for sure, but I just want to get a general base so I actually have a roof over my head here. We can vary it up, we can change it up, we can use different woods, we can uh, use different types of slabs and whatnot, but I just want to create a general shape right now. Okay, so we have the general shape of the tree here, er, sorry, general shape of the house, and I, I said tree because I need to take this tree out. This tree's gotta go, it's in the way, but it will be providing me with some logs, which is nice, so I'll be right back once we have slayed the tree demon here. I think we've slayed... The demon? Yes, we have. Perfect. So that's actually gonna be my new thing. I knew I know I used to call them gigantism trees. I'm absolutely calling them demon trees right now. I mean the demon tree was pretty nice in that it gave us a whole bunch of logs to work with here, which is good. I'll put some torches all around. Yeah, so my thought here is we can actually make this into like a little staircase area. Maybe I can even indent the wall one more. I don't know. We'll make this a little staircase that goes down uh, into what would be the second floor. And maybe we can make like a dual staircase, like this goes up, this goes down. Hmm, we'll see. That'd be cool. Obviously, I'm going to be adding windows, just need to collect the uh, the sand for it. Maybe even... Maybe... Hmm. I'm trying to think, I want to put like a big Bayview window. That would be nice. Maybe right here even. Like make this into a big window, and then a glass, like almost like a sliding door. Um, and this leads into... What would be the river and the four? Ooh, I like that. I like that. All right, this house is turning out nicely. Yeah, I'm liking the way it's shaping out so far, for sure. Uh, we're gonna take a break from the building aspect of this uh, to do a little bit more um, exploring. So I'm just gonna tidy this up, collect some more wood, and then once the night falls, I'll take a quick nap and we'll go out and do some exploring and some resource collection. Alrighty, so, got myself a bunch of birch wood here, which will be, which will suffice. Wait for it. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's do some exploring here, so, you know what we should do? We should go by boat. Why not? We're gonna go down this river anyways. Let's hop in the boat and see what's around here. Let's get into F5 mode. I do not like the way boats handle now. They handle so weird. I'm used to the old Minecraft. Okay. Oh, we got a little little cave over there. That looks promising. Ah, this is relaxing. Whoa, hello. What is that? I think you might need to disembark here. I'll just leave my boat. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yes, give me your string. Hello, mobs. Cool. Hi, Zomberts. Yeah, it gets slashed to death. Oh, that's a nice little cave area. Cool. Let's grab this iron here. 
Lots of coal here. This is good. This is good. This is exactly what we needed. Now let's actually go look at that lava. Finally. <laughs> let's climb up here. Oh. Did I just break into a cave? That is funny. Did I just actually break into a, like a little cave? <laughs> I know I said we're going to explore the lava. Oh, look, look at that. That's kind of some cool generation there. Look at this. That's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. That is pretty nice. It led to a dead end, but a great beginnings of something if someone wants to uh, sneak that. Let's grab some of these resources on our way out. Hello. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, look. There was a sheep that was on fire. <laughs> Give me some raw mutton. Fantastic. Hey, you know what we can do? Ooh, I got an idea. Hold on. Okay, okay. And you know what we can do? We can collect this lava and use it for our base, our home. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. In the meantime, we can say hello to all the sheep. Admire the landscape here. Yeah, me too. You know what? While those, that's all cooking up, I'm going to grab some coal here. All right. Let's make a quick little bucket here. And collect this lava. Nice. Now we have a lava bucket. Oh, what? Wait, wait. What the heck happened? What? What? What happened to my lava? It went to my inventory, then went away. I have permissions. I'm the owner of the server. There's no lava in my bucket. Oh, Rip. But the lava's still flowing there. I'm very, very confused. <laughs> Is there another source here? I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> don't question it. Just accept it. Just accept it. And here in the wild is the wild piggies. They are the piggies that control and rule this forest. I think they see me. We should retreat. Let's retreat. Oh yeah, they see me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go back home. No. They're gonna get me. No, they're coming after me. Run! Run! <coughs> No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, baby zombie. Hello, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, baby zombie, I hear you. Speak to me. Oh, I see ya. Yeah, I'm mad too. What are you mad about? Can't see your forehead? Me either. Jerk. That was an odd interaction. Oh, he sees me. Eh, stop hitting me. Oh, level 10, nice. There's some spiders. Oh, alpacas. Right? Or llamas, llamas. They spit at me last time, those jerks. Rude. Okay, to be fair, I did push them off a cliff, but whatever. I mean, come on. You wouldn't? Try to dodge that skeleton. Oh, I was hoping they would make a jockey. <laughs> nope. Dodge. Oh, he's gonna hit me now. Yep. Whoa, look at that natural lava there. And he did drop a bow. Nice. I was actually hoping that maybe on the off chance he would drop a bow. He did. Nice. Uh, let's regen some health here. There's an endy man. Why are there so many mobs around the lava? You, you would think that the lava would uh, prevent these guys from spawning because it's, you know, bright and stuff. Weird. There we go. You gotta fortify this area. Make sure none of these zombies come at me. Any creepers around my, my fortification? Doesn't look like it. Good. That's what I thought. 
Yeah. You better stay away. Oh god, this guy's there. Get inside. <laughs> Alright, well. That was a successful first little outing. We didn't die. Got to level 12. Got ourselves some iron. Uh, got ourselves a nice little derpy, derpy twirl, uh, squirtle helmet. I uh, got some lava, which is good. We'll use some, uh, we'll make maybe a cobblestone generator or something. Just, I don't know. Make some, some cool stuff with it. Use it for lighting. And uh, we got ourselves the, the beginnings, the humble beginnings of a home. Uh, so guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of the uh, Noob Server. And of course, I'm going to be collabing with all the, the guys on the server, guys and gals on the server, uh, once they actually get in here and start building. And we'll make sure we keep this very community-oriented. I love it. Uh, leave me any suggestions you'd like to see in this series. And of course, follow me on social media because that's where I'll be the most. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and watched all the way to the end. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.